Weight division, we have Andre the Beast Laxka, who is in the shorter of the black trunks, taking on Steve the Juggernaut Coslo, who I noticed are more of a dark blue trunk. And um, Aaron Wallace is your third man in the cage. This is Nolo Keith calling the action alongside Phil Campbell. Two big welterweights, and Phil, as you alluded to, this is Coslo's first time making the journey down to welter. He's absolutely huge for the weight class. Like, I'd love to know what he was walking into the cage with. There we go, touch of gloves. We're underway. The Beast versus the Juggernaut, a battle of the X-Men. Watch out for those long strikes of Stevie Costello. He covers ground really easily, just putting that jab, jab to the straight in front of you. He covers great ground into the takedown. Both fighters share a, an opponent that they both fought in Ian Gary, and Costello actually dropped Ian Gary with that distance, to how fast he covered the different di distance to land the right hand, pardon me. So he does cover distance incredibly fast, but Max getting his performance against Ian Gary was having some success and then just caught with a beautiful finish by Yari. Stevie Costello just leading the dance right now, taking the center of the octagon. Costello, he has that right hand sort of triggered. He's, he's switched stance now. Not unlike Richard Kiley, one of his main training partners. Oh, straight landed there from Stevie Costello. And on the takedown. Uses that power and size, feeling. In a big position here, almost in side control. Can Laska recover? But he really needs to mind his P's and Q's here on the ground with Laska, who himself is a purple belt in BJJ. And Laska gets it back to guard without much effort. Stevie Castello just trying to posture and land strikes here, but Laska just trying to break that down. Maybe looking to set up the armbar. We've seen a slight shift of the hips there. That's indicative of a fighter trying to set up a submission. So Costello's got to be very careful here, of course. And an SPG talent, Dave Rowe should be well versed. Great coaching out there as well. Costello doing the right thing by getting up and now has the back. Great wrist control there by Stevie Costello. You're starting to see that a lot more now, Phil, in the game as well. It's almost when you see one fighter have huge success, the likes of Habib Nurmagomedov, who has huge success with that wrist control. It tends to filter down. Lasker back up to the feet, trying to turn into Stevie Costello here. Just has the right arm to try and turn into the juggernaut. The juggernaut lands big and Laska, he looks limping on that right leg as well. I think that knee could have gone. Oh, that's a huge kick. He's really chopping down the leg Stops there. Down. That and could this be has got to be it. over. It was the right knee, I think, of Laska. An injury occurred in the exchange up against the cage. Unfortunately... What MMA intelligence from Stevie Costello to be aware of that injury, that momentary injury, hone in on it, land two or three massive leg kicks to the knee and just take it out from Lasky. It is unfortunate. You've seen it with Cain Velasquez against Francis Nugano. Mm -hmm. The knee just gave way and Lasky tried to put his weight on it and he is in pain. Just being treated by the cage side doctor here, but you could see it instantly, Phil. As soon as he put weight back down on that right leg, it, was it just wasn't willing to carry. Let's get a 